this lab, you're going to measure the mass of unseen objects. Start by taping the lab pages on page 64 and 65 of your notebook. The directions for this lab are on the bottom of page 64. Scientists have always asked the question of how do you find the mass of something you cannot see? They were always looking for ways to measure the unknown, like if something is too small, like a cell, or too big, like the sun. They observed that objects can be charged, but did not know how to measure the amount of charge, especially the ones causing discomfort and pain, like static electricity. One of the strategies developed in the past to measure the amount of charge was recording data from a series of experimental repetitions until obtaining a common multiple number. Robert Millikan created the oil drop experiment and recorded data from a series of experimental repetitions, as you can see here, to find the minimum value of an elementary charge, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, as you can see right here. In this lab investigation, you will use a similar strategy to measure the mass of one single bolt placed in various sealed Easter egg plastic eggs. Each egg has an unknown number of bolts inside. You will need a triple beam balance, a pencil, ruler, calculator, one egg, and lab directions taped on your notebook. Very important. It is very important that the scale is zeroed each time you complete your measurement. Do not open or shake the egg at any time. Do not remove the tape. If you see any cracks in the egg, please tell your teacher. It is also important to record the mass number at eye level to avoid parallax error. Step one is to start with the egg placed on your lab station. Measure the mass twice and average before recording in your table. Also, I would like to note that these numbers should be changed to match the columns that they're in, in table one. Anyways, remember to deduct 18 grams, which is the mass of the empty egg, before recording the number on your table in column two. Step two is to switch your egg between lab groups and measure each mass and record it until the column one is completely filled with all eight items. So as you can see, you're gonna record the egg number and then you're gonna record the mass average and deduct 18 from it and record that number in column two. You're gonna do this for all eight of your samples. Then you're going to order the mass that you just recorded from smallest to largest in numerical order all the way down your chart as so there's two tens so go ahead and record both tens and then 11 20 all the way down the chart then you're going to record the number of repetitions and by grouping them off so this group will have three, two, one, and two. Then you're going to number the eggs by similar masses using ones, twos, threes, and four. So this group would be group one. This group is group two, three, and four. In table two, you're going to number the repetition in this in this table, in this in column A of table two. So you're going to write down the number of repetitions. There's three numbers, so there's three repetitions. Then you're going to record the egg numbers. So the first 10 is six, the second 10 has 20, and number the mass number 11 is grouped with one. And record those in column B of table two. Then you're going to take the mass average and record it in column C of table two. So 10 plus 10 plus 11 divided by three. And you're gonna record that right there. And you're going to do the same for each group. So 
This one has two repetitions. The numbers are 20, so you're going to write 2. And 21 has 7, so you're going to write 2 and 7 in column B of table 2. And then you're going to take the average of these two masses, 20 plus 21 divided by 2, and record that in column C of table 2. And do so for the rest of the table. What is your lowest mass? Your lowest mass is going to be the first mass that you see in column C of table 2. Verify that all masses listed on your table 2 are multiples of the first number. These numbers are will be recorded on your y axis or your x axis of your bar graph. So as you can see, you're going to be drawing a bar graph with the y axis labeled number of repetitions and you're going to count from 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. And you're going to write in these blue boxes your mass numbers. So 10.3, 20.5, and so on. Down here on the bottom line, you're going to record the lowest mass number that you had, which in this case was 10.3, and write it on the line right here. And that will conclude the lab and show you that you know how to find the mass of unseen objects.